Hi there, friends. Welcome to the YouTube channel for the First United Methodist Church in Orange, California. My name is Bill Johnson. I'm the lead pastor here at FUMCO. Good to be with you on this Tuesday morning. This is another daily episode of We Are the Church. From the Gospel of Matthew, chapter 21, verses 28 through 31. The scene here is that Jesus is in the temple in Jerusalem. He's come there with his followers. The chief priests, the scribes, the elders, the Pharisees, they're all gathering around and they're peppering him with all kinds of questions about his authority and who told him he could do this or that. This is where we pick up the story. And then Jesus said to all of them, what do you think? A man had two sons and he went to the first and he said, son, go and work in the vineyard today. But the son answered him, are you nuts? I'm not doing that. But later he changed his mind and, and he went. The father also went to the second son and he said the same thing. But the second son said, right away, dad, I'll get right on it. But he never went. He did not go. And so Jesus said, which of the two did the will of the father? And they answered the first. I'm going to stop right there because today we're talking about motivation or lack thereof. Every one of us has a day in our life when we just don't feel like it, or maybe several days, or maybe many days in a row. We just don't feel, whatever it is, we don't feel like it. It could be something that's vitally important to us. It could be something that's essential. It could be something that our teacher told us to do or that our boss told us to do, or it could be something that somebody asked us to do that we don't even like. But whatever it is, I just don't feel like it. And that creates a lot of inertia. We just sort of sit there and get nowhere. Any athlete can tell you that motivation, while it can be strong and powerful as, a, as an emotion, is not what's going to get you to the championship round. You know what does? Discipline. Discipline is what gets you there. The rep repetitive, consistent desire to show up no matter what our motivations may be. I had a friend when I was younger and our kids were about the same age. And from time to time, we'd load our dogs into the car before, or into the truck before work. And we would go for a little run up in the foothills above uh, Yucaipa, California. And while we were running, he was learning to be a runner. But he, he used to love to say things like, um, I had a great idea today on how to make our little community so much better. But it hit me with such power and conviction that I went and I sat down and I did the crossword for an hour. And sure enough, the idea just disappeared like magic. Or another time he said, you know, I was going to go for a really long run yesterday, six or eight miles. And I noticed that as I was getting ready to leave, the couch had become lighter than air and was floating above the floor and bumping into the lamps and the furniture and causing all kinds of damage to the living room. So I jumped up on top of it to weigh it back down. And I had to lay on top of that couch for a good two hours. And, and by the time I got done, I, uh, I didn't have any more time to run. He would always say this with a twinkle in his eye and an ironic smile. He had a thousand and one reasons for not doing the things that he felt like doing. Discipline requires us to show up whether we feel like it or not. And as you'll notice, if, if you're around me for any length of time at all, I am keen to put the people of God right face to face with some core disciplines of the faith. If I can be a shepherd in any way to God's people, it's to encourage them to forget their motivations and to get into the disciplines of the Spirit, daily prayer, reading our scriptures regularly, making sure that we're with people in worship on a regular weekly basis, having somebody hold us accountable, practicing works of compassion and justice and love in the world. These are disciplines. And the discipline that we have in our spirit is a muscle that we can train. If we're not feeling particularly good at discipline at first, just show up every day. Show up for God and show up for each other and your discipline will gather speed and gather momentum. Put it the way George MacDonald put it. 
you're having a hard time knowing what to do, then servant of God, just do the master's work. Just pick up and do the next thing that you know the master would have you do. And your doubts and your lack of motivation and your feelings will come around in the end and they'll return to you. The motivation will get there eventually as you see progress. But for right now, I just want to encourage you, be disciplined in the faith and forget that conversation you were going to have with somebody about how you don't feel like it. Who cares? God doesn't. God just wants you to show up. Like that first son. You can tell your dad, I don't feel like it. But in the end, going out there and doing the work is what gets us home. Let's pray. Lord, we pray this day that you would give to us a renewed, uh, fresh sense of discipline in our lives. Lord, help us to show up on a daily basis for the work that you have for us to do. For we know, Lord, that as we pile one successful day of discipline on top of another, that over time you will build it into a sturdy house of faith. And so we trust you, O oh Lord, to point us in the right direction, and we ask you to give us the discipline to follow through. And we ask this now in Jesus' name. Amen. Hey, if you're looking to have a conversation with somebody today, talk to them about discipline and how much better it is for us than feeling motivated. Don't inspire discipline. I want to encourage you to have a good day today. And one of our disciplines during this COVID pandemic has been to remember to wash our hands and I guess wear a mask too. And I want to remind you to read a psalm and I want to remind you to tell somebody today that you love them. And I'll be right back here tomorrow, Thanksgiving Eve. See you soon.